Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful, beautiful people. Hope your day is going great so far. And as always, I hope you had a fire-ass night. I hope everybody is safe. I hope family and friends are safe, healthy. Uh, nothing but prayers for everyone who is dealing with the hurricanes, tornadoes, all the natural disasters. All right. It's going to be really, really quick. Um, I would want to go live tonight, but I'm only going to go live tonight if you guys want to go live. Um, it is what it is, okay? Let me know after you guys hear this upload if this is something that needs to be spoken about in depth, okay? But let's get to it because it's going to be really quick because it's 8.50 and I'm pretty sure people in my home are going to start waking up, walking around, making noise and aggravating the fuck out of me, okay? So before that happens, let me get to what I want to get to really, really quick. The KJ scene. This community is exactly what it is supposed to be. Now, I know y'all like, what the fuck are you talking about? Since I've been a part of this fucking so-called KJ scene, it's not what I expected, right? We're not going to go back into the spiel of why everybody came and what was the reason why everybody came. Y'all know. For a supposedly 19-year-old child, right? That was the whole catalyst. The whole reason why supposedly everybody came within this community. I never heard about the KJ community until I came into this community. So what was happening prior to that, I do not know about and do not fucking care, okay? But it's not what I expected. I expected people to be who they claimed they were. I expected people to do what they said they were going to do. I expected people to come up and speak about what happened to a 19-year-old. That's it. That's all. I wasn't expecting anybody to solve it. Nobody on here are cops and investigators. Nobody solved the goddamn thing, and it was never meant to be. Okay? It was a fucking game and scam and lie and freak. All the bullshit from the very beginning when you really break it down and really listen to it. But at the same time, the story of Kanika Jenkins got twisted, right? It turned into having bandos. It turned into people being on back page. It turned into people being prostitutes. It turned into people being madams. It turned into all this fuckery. And no longer mattered to people what the fuck happened to this person. All it did was matter was how people can start to what? Expose and dox. You feeling me on this? The community, this community, this KJ scene is exactly what it's meant to be. Humiliate, dox, lie, and fairy tales and fantasies. And attention seeking. And who could come up with the biggest and the best lie to sway people who don't know how to think logically and rationally. Advantage and take advantage of the majority of the women on here who are probably alone, no husbands, children are probably gone. Um... You know, we got the disrespect of the dead. We got disrespect of children. This is what the KJ scene is all about. Disrespecting the dead. Disrespecting children. Fake-ass pull-ups. Verbal threats. All never happened, right? The verbal threats. The fake pull-ups. The stronger every day I'm by your motherfucking house and bitch, no the fuck you're not. You know that type of shit. Fantasies, fairy tales, and stories. People, those personal pictures getting on purposely, not on purposely leaked. Lawsuits. Supposedly. Crying wolf, calling the police, etc., etc. Now, this is the KJ scene today. Disrespecting the dead, 
disrespecting creators, families who have nothing to do with fucking YouTube, but the families get thrown into that shit. Break up to makeups on a numerous, numerous, numerous of occasions. Every day, all motherfucking day. The fake love, the fake beef that turns into real beef, then the fake beef is over, and then the real love eats. And then the beef starts over. You know, over and over the same bullshit. Shaming people, humiliating people, lying on people. Again, fairy tales and fucking fantasies, and who can come up with the best, bigger story. But... The most disturbing element of this so-called scene is the total disgusting remarks towards sexual assault survivors. Right? A lot of stuff has been said about everybody and a lot of stuff has been done to people, but the most disrespectful and disgusting thing is the humiliating and disrespectful and disgusting remarks again towards survivors of sexual assault and molestation. And I know that YouTube does not like this word, but fuck it. It happens. It's rape. I'm not going to spell it out and I'm not going to misspell any words. It is what the fuck it is. It's so funny and disgusting to me how we who have lived through this and will continue to live through our assault. We can't even speak about it the way we want to speak about it. We have to be censored. We can't say what happened. We have to be subliminal on what happened. Really? But our stories don't matter, right? What happened to us, it doesn't fucking matter. You sit here and let me say some fucking names. You got people on this motherfucker with the subliminal messages on the community walls. I'm not going to be addressing any niggas. I'm addressing two women. I'm not going to call you out your names right now, but you are some disgusting ass fucking women. 2300 and this stars a bitch. As hard as it is for me to sit down and really listen to you two people speak, I had to go through it. And you fucking women are talking about a woman's child. But when you speak on that woman's child and the matter that you do, you're fucking pissing me off. And you should be pissing off anybody else who has been molested, been assaulted, or know someone who has. And the majority of this goddamn fucking so-called KJ scene, y'all can't tell me that you don't know someone or know of someone or are that person. I'm not going to do subliminals and I'm not going to do cold words. Cold words, I never did. 2300 and this stars up. I am so fucking heated and triggered right now. And it's not a surprise because, like I said, this is what this KJ scene is all about. This is the makeup. This is the element of this devilish ass community. This evil ass community. This community was built on fantasies and fairy tales. And I've always fucking said that. But it's not a fairy tale. It's not a fantasy when you got two fucking women who are supposedly mothers themselves and degrade a child who is now a young woman on her assault. You say that someone allowed them, this person, to rape their child. I wonder, do you feel the same way about me and mine? Or anyone else who was raped and molested? Was it our fault? Was it the mother's fault? Or was it the motherfucker who did the act? See, y'all need to displace that hate and take that hate from Sakina and put it on these niggas and these women that are going around here raping and murdering children. Black, white, they all the fucking same. You two motherfuckers, I don't know and I don't give a fuck about what the history is between you and Sakina. I don't give a fuck. But what I do give a fuck about is her daughter and what she deals with every day and the flashbacks and the PTSD and the anger and the humility that she has to show every fucking day just to get on with the day.
to be a perfect and wonderful, loving, protective mother that she is. You sat there and you said that this one, this man fucked her daughter. And then you give people the same respect that has said the same thing. Y'all are some funny motherfuckers. You talk all that shit, but when a motherfucker roll up in your chat, hey. Maybe I'm confused. Maybe I don't see it the way everybody else sees it. But once a motherfucker stoops to that goddamn level to disrespect the dead of a, the death of a child, the murder of a child, take the time to disrespect what a child has gone through. You are the lowest of the low. And in my eyes, you are just as worse as the pedophile because you, in my, when I'm listening, it's like you're glorifying it. It's like you're getting your rocks off, bitch. You're getting wet. Speaking on the rape and the assault of a child. I sat back for a whole fucking week just listening. And I said to myself, you know what, Deb? I'm not going to get involved because no one gets involved when I'm going through some shit. No one says nothing. But fuck that. Because the words that come out of you people's mouths is just that. They're words with no fucking meaning. The one thing I'm going to say is everybody stop apologizing to everybody because when we apologize, y'all don't mean the shit. Because you go right back and do the shit over again. Stop with the, the fucking bullshit ass, empty ass apologize. That's number one. Number two, I would love for you people, you women, and you even you niggas that love to fucking glorify pedophilia at the same time downgrading pedophilia. When at the same time you're following motherfuckers who speak pedophilia, pedophilia statements. Look at your children. Would any of you allow any other fucking YouTubers, any other creators who have been found to have done the same thing? You know, pedophilia statements and pedophilia talk and disrespect of children. Would you allow your kids to spend time with those people? I'm just asking. So, before I end this, Is it time for the KJ scene to really sit down, have an open panel, and talk about real issues? Like, number one, canceling bitches and niggas who like to glorify pedophilia. Canceling niggas and bitches who get on their platforms and speak down on a victim. Blaming a victim. You're constantly, you are assaulting me, her daughter. And anyone else who has been through it, every time you open your funky ass, dirty ass mouth. So question to the YouTube. Sakina supposedly pulling out a gun on live when we see rap videos and drill music. All they do is promote violence and show dr drugs, guns. It has been done in our own community. Who fucking cares? But what's worse? That or saying that a child got fucked. A child is a hoe because she's been fucking since six. A child is a hoe because she sucked dick at six. Her mama taught her how to suck dick. But if I don't recall one of you, like the stars of bitch, were you 17 when you had a five-year-old? So that makes you, what, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12? You a high value woman, huh, I guess. 
You a junkie. And I don't think that Sakina should be told to not speak. Somebody says some fucked up ass shit like that about your child, goddamn, you better speak. Because I think the YouTube is the safest place for you. Because I can just imagine some of the shit that come out of you motherfuckers big people's mouths and you don't know who to live, who live next door to you, across the street, around the motherfucking corner, or down the road. You better watch your speech. Don't be afraid to tell the truth. Be afraid not to. Lying to the lying is to the soul what hate is to the heart. And I hate some of you motherfuckers. It's obvious who the ones I fucking hate. But a lie, I'm not fucking up my soul. My soul has been hurt. I'm trying to heal it. And a lot of you have hurt souls. Your hearts, y'all don't have shit in your heart. Your shits are black. You sit around and you get pleasure off of hurting someone. You have black hearts and you have black souls. You can heal your heart. You can't heal your soul when you have a lie out there, a major lie. Do better. And if you can't, shut the fuck up. Tonight again, I would love to go live. But I'm not going to waste my time speaking on this if you people don't give a fuck. Because again, it's not your kids, right? I hope all everybody, I'll help everyone is safe. Ashley, I got you. The baby is looking great. Aiden is so handsome. Beautiful, beautiful baby. Everybody else, y'all have a great day. <laughs> At least fucking try to. Peace.